Ever wonder how to make a shape bigger or smaller without changing its proportions? In just a few minutes you'll master the art of creating perfect scaled copies with a simple rectangle. Let's dive in. In this video you'll learn how to understand how to create scaled copies of a shape by multiplying the original dimensions by a scale factor. Step number one. Start with an original shape. Let's start with a simple rectangle with these dimensions a width of 4 cm and a height of 6 cm. Step 2. Choose a scale factor. Choose a scale factor that will either enlarge or reduce the rectangle. For this example, we'll use two different scale factors. A scale factor of 2, which is an enlargement, and a scale factor of 0.5 or 1 half, which is a reduction. Step 3. Calculate the dimensions of the scaled copy. First, let's do the scale factor of 2, the enlargement. Find the new width. Multiply 4 centimeters times 2, which equals 8 centimeters. Find the new height. Multiply 6 centimeters times 2, which equals 12 centimeters. Now let's do the scale factor of 0 0.5, or 1 half, the reduction. Find the new width. Multiply 4 centimeters times 0 0.5, which equals 2 centimeters or half a 4. Next, find the new height. Multiply 6 centimeters times 0 0.5, which equals 3 centimeters, or half of 6. Step 4. Draw the original and scaled rectangles. The dimensions of the original rectangle are 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. The dimensions of the scaled rectangle with the scale factor of 2 are 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters and the dimensions of the scaled rectangle with the scale factor of 0 0.5 are 2 cm by 3 cm. Step 5. Compare the shapes. All three rectangles are similar, meaning they have the same shape but different sizes. The scaled copies maintain the same proportions as the original rectangle. Notice that multiplying by a scale factor affects the size of the shape without changing its shape and proportions. To learn more about making scaled copies of other shapes, watch the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.